So how do you buy a family land or a village land in Lagos or anywhere in Nigeria? How do you undertake such assignment? Now, I have tried as much as possible not to um, advise anybody on this kind of thing, but I think I have reasons to um, make this um, video because I don't want anybody to be deceived and um, I don't want anybody to be taken advantage of. This is why I'm making this video. Now, will I advise you to buy a family land or a village land? I will say yes and no. Yes, if that is your village. Yes, if you are conversant with the environment and you visit the environment often and no if you are not from that particular um, area or if you are not domiciled in that area and you don't visit the place too often but either ways buying a family land or a village land is people's choice you can decide to go for it you can decide not to go for it personally if you don't get mind no put your body so that is that about that. I have made that caveat. So now, how can we buy properties from Omonile directly? How can you buy a village land? How can you buy a family land? This is what we'll be discussing today. In the past, I've taught you and I've given you tips on buying land from developers or buying land in um, urban um development but today we'll be going extra to discuss how to buy land what are the tips buying land from family directly or from um, or buying a village land this is what we'll be discussing today welcome to this channel where we'll discuss topical issues affecting real estate in lagos and in nigeria at large the first time seeing our content, you're very much welcome. Like our videos. When you like our videos, you make our content reach greater audience. More people see our videos, learn from it, and make wise choices buying real estate. You could do us go through our past contents. We've discussed so amazing contents on this particular channel. We've discussed topics relating to um, property acquisition, We're taking you on property tours to areas you have bought and you've not even been there. I've taken you on a virtual inspection to those places. We've conducted and property searches on some of those juicy properties they actually to buy um, everywhere. And we've told you which one to buy and which one not to buy based on our search result. Um, all of this and more is what you gain and enjoy um, seeing our content. Do want to subscribe to the channel and also turn on your notification button so that each time we drop a new content you will be the first to see our videos today we are discussing how we can buy land from family how we can buy a village land now you must have mind you must have mind to undertake this course when we get back we'll be discussing this in full details welcome back everybody so how do we buy a village land how do we buy a family land now about um three four months ago i made this um video from how to buy real estate anywhere in lagos i did a video on that particular topic and i gave several tips i think i wrote them down and i said um research the company research the company research the property ask for the faq book an inspection and go with your surveyor i said um request subscription form and um you could um ask your lawyer to go through the form with you yeah, before you make your deposit and request a contract of sale then you sign a contract of sale send it back and also you fulfill and also you fulfill your end of um your own contract so um these were the major um tips i gave on that and we we'll discuss extensively on that now we're we'll discussing now how to buy a village land now in the other place i said 
research developer research the property now there is no developer yet for it to research there is no developer yet for it to research so you cannot go online to go and research the family so first things first you will have to book a meeting with the family a physical meeting now remember we cannot do a background check or conduct due diligence on the family from wherever we are. Most of us, are, most of you are in a diaspora, and um, before they ask you to buy a property from a developer, you quickly run your check, CAC, check the past project online, check their website, check a review of review, check the review of the properties, check what people have said about the company, and that gives you an idea and forms your perception about. The company you want to deal with now this is a family you've never met before a random person is asking you to buy a property in a particular village from a particular family from a particular place and um, you have no idea of this place um, you have never been in contact with this particular place now this is going to be hard to find out information online so the only way is to schedule a physical inspection sorry a physical meeting with you and the family so it will mean that you live wherever you are abroad and come down to nigeria to do this for yourself or you get someone you trust you get someone you trust in nigeria you send over to the place to undertake this particular um, activity for you. Be that as it may, someone must have a meeting with the family. I want to talk about the family now with those who would stick in the family, the important personnel in the family. And sometimes I would even advise that everybody should be around for that meeting the old, the young, and the children because the young ones will take over the older ones, the children are growing and will take over from where their fathers stopped. So, and the reason why I'm saying everybody must be around is because um, I've undertaken this particular activity with my developer friends. I have developers um, who are doing so well for themselves and um, on some occasions I go with them to see how this is done and I've seen things, I've experienced things, I've experienced fights on site so <laughs> I've experienced so many things, I've seen where they are using jazz to fight each other and beat each other just because of ownership of a land and um, if I would advise anyone, if you are not going to buy maybe it's maybe like five acres, ten acres, twenty acres. Then it's it's not worth it. It's not worth the stress. Um, buying one plot, two plots from um, family members from one level of village, they will stress you out. They will stress you out. And if you are not careful, self, they would they would dupe you. So although, but um, what we're discussing is how you can buy how you can buy um, this land from these people. So. There must be a physical meeting with the family and um, make sure everybody in the family is around because I know for sure that um, every family has a carcass. There are carcasses in families. So you have a very large family, you have different carcass. If you are not careful, you might just find yourself dealing with a carcass of that family and um, you take ownership, you start working on site, then the other carcass comes and stops you from work and say, um, they are not aware of any transaction that has happened on that particular property and to mean that you will settle the other carcass. So, um, make sure everybody that has a stake in that family, the young, the old, the weak and the strong, make sure they are available. And um, it might uh, prove um, to be a problem, but you can always find out who the people, who the stakeholders are. You can um, visit the balance office you can visit the balance officer, the balance palace to uh, ask about the particular family and even from the balance palace they will tell you who and who and who um, 
has a stake in that family who and who you can always talk to and have your dealings with this is just um a method of carrying out a traditional uh, a local search on that particular um, family because you cannot do it online you have to come and have that one-on-one -on -one meeting with the family now this must be done this must be done because at that meeting you would have an idea of um, what the price of the land you're selling to you is what the size of the land is where the location is and all those things that is where you have an idea and after the meeting you sometimes you can want to do everything at the same time come with your surveyor come with your lawyer although it is better to take this transaction one step at a time you don't when it comes to um, land um, transactions you don't you don't hurry take one step at a time take one step at a time so um, once you are good with the family and um, you already have a connection with them you know where the land is you done your search of um, you've gotten um, every detail about the family the next thing is you come with your surveyor you come with your surveyor like I've seen people who advise people wrongly online um, telling you buying a village land you don't need to come with your surveyor that's a false that's that's a lie that's a lie before you pay for any land before you buy any land be it village land be it um, Lagos land be it anywhere land it is your right to conduct a property search on the land. Take your surveyor to site. Let your surveyor pick coordinates on site that will help him carry out the uh, property search from the uh, that will help him carry out a search from the land uh, ministry from the land bureau to make sure you are buying. A land that is free. You don't go to buy. So you don't. You don't make a mistake of buying um, a government acquisition, a government land. It is a. It is your right to search the land, and nobody will tell you not to bring your surveyor. If at any point in time someone has told you um, you cannot bring your surveyor before you make payment, it's a lie. That person is a fraud. It's the person is a fraud. You cannot ask someone to buy a property without you searching the property. It's like you don't want me to know what I'm buying, but you want me to make payment. Then after I make payment, I start finding out that uh, this land is a government acquisition and all those things. No. Be it a village land. There are village lands that are acquisition lands. Forget that um, the, land use, the Land Use Act says um, every every property or every land in um, urban areas belongs to the state. Even in rural settlement, some rural settlement, government has taken possession of certain lands there. Take for example in Lagos, a pair is a rural settlement. You have so many rural settlements in Ekpe, but if you check the Ekpe master plan, Lagos master plan, you'll find out that the government has carved out some areas for itself for future projects. So even in those villages, some of those lands have been carved out for future development. So that, that makes them committed acquisition. So you must make sure you take a surveyor to conduct the search. Don't say, ah, before government will come here, or uh, government does not have the to do it. See, every land that is urbanized now was once a rural settlement. With time and development, they became what they are today. So, that village land would become a city tomorrow. Make sure you conduct your due diligence. Search the land. I know why I'm saying this. I've read so many things online, even on TikTok. I've heard so many things about not taking a surveyor for a village land. No, make sure you take your surveyor before you make payment. This is conducting due diligence, and nobody would crucify you for conducting due diligence. It is like saying you want to buy uh, a commodity for consumption, and you say, Let me check the expiration date, and they're asking you, No, know, don't check the expiration date. You pay before you check the expiration date. No, you are free to check the expiration date because. This is, this is a consumer right. The right for consumers to make sure that whatever they are buying is safe for consumption. So also as an investor, it is your right to make sure that what you're buying will give you satisfaction and give you peace of mind. So if anybody has told you do not bring your surveyor, run away from that person. Your surveyor is needed and the surveyor is, in fact, before you even bring your lawyer to do any contract, the surveyor is who you need. 
I get it. So we, the lawyer will only make um, contract um, legal and everything and make sure transactions are done right. The, but the surveyor is the one that will tell you where to buy and where not to buy. So always go with your surveyor. Even for a village land, always go with your surveyor. Before before you make payments, even after you've had your meetings with the family. And um, like I said, you you might be you you might not be able to see everybody in the family you might not be able to meet everybody in the family and um and there are some situations whereby people will sell the lands they've um, sold before I've, I've, I've witnessed a particular situation whereby they almost sold a land to one of my developer friend and um we got to know and this is how we got to know before you make payments this is what you are supposed to do before you make payments for the land after they've showed you the land i have an agreement with the family that ah before i pay you okay, to my son before i pay money you you allow me um clear the land if the land is in a bush you allow me clear this portion of the land and you clear it and you give me two weeks i will clear for two weeks and before and um, i would pay after i have cleared the land that is this is what you do and the reason for this is because um, so that you can know if there is any dissenting um, faction or if to know if um, the family has sold the land before to another person or to know if there is a faction in the family that is not aware that this particular transaction is about to happen so you will tell them before I pay let me clear the land let me clear the land clearly the land is not taking ownership I get it, and most times they will allow you to clear the land because you are the one that would expand in case you say you're not buying again it takes nothing away from them because uh, you're not taking ownership you are only wasting your it might be that you are wasting your money but sometimes that waste is rational you spend your money to clear the land and in the course of clearing if there is anyone that has bought the land maybe 10 years 20 years ago the person will come out to tell you that ah, you are clear. You will start getting information about that particular property you are clearing. If there is a dissenting, if a family member is not clear, if there is a faction, they will come out and challenge you. Why are you clearing our land? Are you getting so you you try to get you start seeing that oh, if there is any issue on that land, people come out to start asking questions and everything. Then you gather your information about that particular land. So, will family members, will family allow you to clear the land? Yes, they will allow you to clear the land. They will allow you. Clearing the land is not taking possession. Clearing the land is only giving you the opportunity to. You can tell them you want to know if the land is dry, how dry the land is. But even when you tell them, I'm more clear, can you do so? They will still allow you to clear it. You get. They will allow you to clear. The ones that will say you cannot clear, that should be a point that ah, there is something wrong because clearing is not taking possession. You are not building on it, you are just clearing the land. Are you getting it now? So, anyone that says no, don't clear and everything, that is a point out to the fact that they most likely might have sold the land before or there is an issue on the land and um, they don't want you to notice all those things. So, ask that you clear the land first before you pay. But you must be true to your, to your word though. If you clear, you tell them you can do after two weeks of clearing, then I'll come and pay. Now, after that two weeks and um, you start clearing, you finish clearing and um, nobody comes out to say we are doing this land or there's a problem or this, uh, that is, that's good. Then you can now take the next step. The next step now is you bringing your lawyer now. Your lawyer would prepare a deed, prepare a contract of sale and also um, prepare a deed of assignment or first and foremost a contract of sale between you and the family you and the head of the family stating the size of the land you are buying how much you're buying the land the cost of everything and everything uh, financial and how you would also pay because sometimes um, I would advise you don't just pay the money once what I mean once not that you stay for maybe two three months before you pay I get in that no it is if you are buying a family land pay once you pay as far when doing the transaction cycle you make sure you pay everything but um before 
you complete the contract because before you prepare any deed, they want you to bring money. So you are not going to give them everything. You should not give them everything. You can just give them maybe if, if the whole land costs six million, you can tell them we are about one million naira. He can be documentations. Pay take this one million naira. Let us start documentations on this particular listen property. The lawyer comes in, starts the um, contract of sale. When he's done with the contract of sale, you pay the first one million naira initial deposit. Definitely, families don't want you to pay. They don't want to give you payment plan. They don't want to give you. They don't accept installment. Most of them don't accept installment payment. But give them one million naira, not as installment, but a down payment. A down payment that take this. By the time we are done with the deed of assignment, we are going to and we are signing deed of assignment. When you are signing this deed of assignment. I am paying you everything. So when you pay the first down payment and as the lawyer is doing his deed and everything doing the preparation of contract and everything once you pay in the first one million naira, ask again that the family allows you to fence the land and the first one is they should allow you clear before you pay now you have done a down payment you are, you are not going to hold their money for so long ago at the end of the whole um, preparation of deed and everything you pay them their money before the deed is given to you so after the document is paid ask them that let us uh, now that i have made a deposit and as the lawyer is preparing our contract and deed let us fence the land round again first the land round also is not taking possession so the family will not have anything to lose they would agree that you start fencing they would agree that you start fencing now if when you clear nobody came out to disturb you probably they are unsure that you are selling or you are buying the land once you start fencing yeah you see once you start fencing once you start putting a block once you start laying a block on that particular land eh, if there is anybody that has a stake on that land and you've not met the person then the person will come out the person would come out because once they start saying fencing they know that okay they are trying to sell this particular land the person will come out so if they sold the land for any other person before the news would have gotten the person and the person will start coming and start making his trouble so you will know what you'll be doing at this stage now you will not you will not say whatever monies you've paid is is um is going um is um going going to waste it is better like i already say it is better you lose um certain amounts conducting due diligence then you lose a whole sum paying everything so when you allow when you ask them let us let me start fencing they will allow you because even fencing is not taking possession if at the end you say you don't want to buy it again you are the one that has lost a um you've cleared freely for them you've also fenced their land for them you pack your bag and you say you're not buying it is not going to cause problem and they've not given you possession they've not signed your contract they've not signed your documents and that is that one thing you know is whatever money you've paid to them they don't get back any money you pay to a money lay, you don't get back it is hard so once you first round and nobody disturbs you then you can be sure that um there is no dissenting view on um that particular development you ask your lawyer to complete the deed and um everything um make sure that um actually lawyer to complete the deed and on your day you'll be signing a deed making the complete transfer of your monies to them because make sure you don't owe them any money don't do not give them reasons to say you're breaching the contract so you will pay them all their monies on the day you'll be signing the deed getting the deed of assignment make sure everybody who has a stake in that family is going to append their signature on the um, deed of assignment and every um, document that will be um, signed so this is how to um, buy um, a village land or a family land um, step by step there is no need jumping any step there's any jumping any step so if anybody is telling you during the survey or if anybody is telling you um, you cannot see before you pay or um, because um, you are not an indigene and we do not want a Gubale to see you and all those things don't go for that transaction if 
you find out that there is Ajagun Bale on a particular part on a particular land. That's the reason for you to run away. Because Ajagun Bale would mean that um, they fought to get the land. So in future, if there's a, if there's a stronger force that comes out, then they will still fight again to get the land back from you. So once there's anything like Ajagun Bale, don't even don't don't just try it. Don't just try going for that land because it's a problematic land. It's a problematic land. So you need a surveyor, you need to do your due diligence, you need to carry out search on the land. You need to bring your lawyer into play. Your lawyer must because your lawyer is the one that is going to um uh get um your what do you call it, your deed of assignment. Your surveyor is going to run the search and also prepare a survey for you, a registered survey for you. Your surveyor is going to do that. A registered surveyor. Now, I'm talking about registered surveyor here. Yeah, they will get a registered surveyor for you. So when you want to perfect the title, then you can uh, perfect the title to maybe a C of O, if you so wish, because that is only when um, you get perfection on your land, C of O, a yes title ever. So deed of assignment, um, contract of sale, the rest of the they are not property titles. They are not property titles. So the rest of the will only help you, and the government will help you in um, getting them. Um, well, there are relevant um, documents that are needed for uh, processing of your C of O. So that is that about that. Buying properties from um, a money left from start to finish. So is it is it um, an activity I would want to undertake for you? No. I don't, I don't um, indulge myself in buying um, village lands for people. I could buy it for myself, but for people, no, because um, it is very stressful. It is very, very stressful. And Omonile, they are such that you have a transaction with them today, they will still come back tomorrow. If or if a layer comes now, they will still disturb you. You will see it's not as if you, are, um, you must do all those things for them, but those those um, dealings and conversations would always arise. You are at risk if you don't have um, an eye in the environment where you're buying the land to always um, check out the developments in the area so you don't resell your land. It's a place where you will not be visiting every time. If you don't have people there, it's, it's risky because these guys, they resell lands. So that is that about that. So if you've gotten value for your time, like the video, subscribe to the channel. Turn on your notification button for more insightful um, contents like this. For consultation, my number is on the screen. The link to my WhatsApp is in the description below. You can always reach, you can always reach out to me, send me messages. Um, if you are seeing this on TikTok, you can always send a direct message and I'll um, get you. If you, want to see the full, if you want to see the full videos, you could also um, watch them on YouTube. So that is that about that. Until we see you again, stay safe, keep investing in real estate and... Peace.